Cities turned to ash, skies darkened for years, crops failed, billions starved. This isn't a science fiction movie, it's a chilling possibility if nuclear war ever becomes real. Stay with us, because understanding this reality is the first step in making sure it never happens. Massive destruction. In the first minutes of a nuclear war, the world would experience an unimaginable level of destruction. Major cities would be reduced to rubble. A single modern nuclear bomb can destroy everything in a radius of several kilometers and severely damage infrastructure much farther away. In a large conflict, hundreds of these warheads might be launched in the first wave alone. Skyscrapers would crumble, roads would melt, cars would explode, and everything in the blast zone would be vaporized. The heat from the explosion can reach temperatures hotter than the surface of the sun. Millions would die instantly. Those in the surrounding areas would suffer from firestorms, collapsing buildings, flying glass, and burns. Even cities not directly hit would suffer from shockwaves, fires, and panic. Power stations, communication towers, bridges, and emergency services would be destroyed or overwhelmed. Fallout and radiation poisoning. Following the explosion comes the radioactive fallout. This is the dust and debris lifted into the air by the blast, now carrying deadly radiation. Depending on the wind, fallout can travel hundreds or even thousands of kilometers. It settles on homes, streets, crops, and water supplies, making everything dangerous to touch, eat, or drink. People exposed to radiation may not die immediately. They could suffer from acute radiation sickness, vomiting, hair loss, internal bleeding, infections, and eventually death. Hospitals would be full of patients, but most would lack the medicine, electricity, or staff to treat them. Long-term exposure to radiation increases the risk of cancer, birth defects, and genetic damage that could affect future generations. The more people try to survive by foraging or drinking untreated water, the more likely they are to poison themselves. Global Collapse of Infrastructure Modern life depends on global systems, internet, banking, electricity, water supply, and fuel. All of these would collapse almost immediately. Roads would be blocked or destroyed, airports and seaports would be useless, phone towers and satellites might be knocked out, and governments would struggle to communicate even with their own citizens. Food would be one of the first essentials to vanish. Farms near blast zones would be contaminated. Supermarkets would be looted in hours. International trade would stop completely. There would be no gasoline for trucks, no packaging factories, no clean water, no refrigeration, in short, the global supply chain would be destroyed. People would go from relying on grocery stores to desperately searching for edible plants, clean water, or canned food in ruins. The environment. Perhaps the most terrifying long-term effect of a nuclear war is the environmental catastrophe known as nuclear winter. When multiple nuclear bombs explode, especially on cities and forests, they create enormous firestorms. These fires send millions of tons of black soot into the atmosphere. This soot would block sunlight for months, maybe even years. As a result, global temperatures would fall dramatically by 2 Celsius to 10 Celsius. Crops would fail across the world, even in countries not involved in the war. Rainfall patterns would shift, monsoons would stop, and entire growing seasons would vanish. Animals, too, would suffer. Without plants and sunlight, entire ecosystems would collapse. Oceans would become darker and colder, killing plankton, the base of the marine food chain. The result? A global famine on a scale never seen before. Mass starvation. With farming almost impossible and supply chains gone, food production would drop by over 90%. Grain, vegetables, and livestock would all be affected. Countries that rely on food imports would suffer first, but no nation would be truly safe. People would eat whatever they could find. Rats, insects, even the remains of animals found in the wild. Water sources would be polluted. Diseases would spread. Those who were not killed by bombs or radiation would face death by starvation. It is estimated that even a limited nuclear war, like one between India and Pakistan, could cause a famine that kills over a billion people. Social Collapse and Lawlessness In such desperate times, the very fabric of society would tear apart. Governments would fall or lose control. Law enforcement would be helpless. In many places, local gangs or warlords would take power, using violence to control food and water. 
Trust would disappear. People would steal, fight, or kill to survive. Moral rules would vanish, replaced by desperation. People might return to tribal or survivalist ways of life, forming small communities based on mutual protection. Religions, superstitions, and myths may change or grow as survivors try to make sense of the apocalypse around them. Health crisis and mental trauma, the health system would not just be broken, it would be gone. Most doctors, nurses, and hospitals would be destroyed or unreachable. Medical supplies would run out. Diseases that were once treatable, like infections or diarrhea, could now be fatal. And beyond the physical suffering is the mental one. Survivors would carry heavy psychological trauma. They would have witnessed friends and family burn, cities vanish, and entire cultures collapse. Many would experience post-traumatic stress, anxiety, depression, or suicidal thoughts. Children would grow up never knowing the world before. Their lives would be filled with hunger, fear, and violence. Education would end. Progress would stop. Genetic damage and future generations. Radiation does more than harm people. It changes their DNA. Survivors and their descendants may suffer from genetic mutations, leading to birth defects, physical disabilities, and reduced intelligence. Animals and plants, too, would change. Some species would go extinct. Others might mutate or evolve strangely in response to radiation. If humanity were to survive, the world it rebuilds would be biologically and socially very different from the one we live in today. Would humanity survive? This is a difficult question. Some scientists believe small pockets of humans could survive, especially in remote areas with clean water and farmland. But rebuilding civilization would be extremely hard. Knowledge would be lost. Electricity might not return for centuries. The internet, computers, airplanes, and modern medicine could disappear for good. It's possible we would return to a simpler, tribal way of life, growing food by hand, building shelters from wood, and passing knowledge by word of mouth. Or we could slowly rise again, learning from the ruins of the old world. But it could also be the end of humanity as we know it. Not through instant death, but through long, slow suffering, starvation, and decline. A warning for the present. This is not a fantasy or science fiction. It's a real risk that still exists. As long as nuclear weapons remain in the hands of governments, the threat is always present. That's why global peace, arms reduction, and diplomacy are more important than ever. If you found this video informative, give it a like, share it with others, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the issues that shape our world.